today. Hello, Morni. I'm good. Have you been here before or is this your first time? Uh, this is my first time here. Oh, okay. Let me introduce myself. Uh, my name is Audrey. I'm the coordinating midwife at this clinic. There are four midwives in here and also there are two obstetricians and we are in team. So you can choose one to see an obstetrician or a midwife. Okay, I see. Yes, what's your, what's your name, ma'am? My name is Heidi. I am 25 years old. Oh, okay. How long is it, Heidi? Please tell me what's your problem. Yeah, I I have been late for three months. I did the pregnancy test, the and the result was positive. Wow, that sounds good. Do you remember when was the first day of your last period? Yes, I remember. It was first November two thousand and twenty. Oh, okay, ma'am. Let me check how long you have been pregnant three days on your last period. And it was around fourteen weeks. So, how do you feel right now? Yeah, I'm feeling nauseous, vomiting, dizzy, and have no appetite. Why am I feeling nauseous and vomiting, ma'am? Especially in the morning. Mm, okay, ma'am. Let me explain about your symptoms. Well, it's a normal symptoms during the first trimester. Nauseous and vomiting causes by hormonal change. Mm, I see. I'm worried about that. Is there anything that I can do to reduce it or make it feel better, ma'am? Yes. You can drink a ginger water or lemon water to reduce the nausea. And then you can put some aromatherapy in your room to make you feel more relaxing and comfortable. Okay, ma'am. I will try to drink ginger water and put some aromatherapy in my room. Sure, ma'am. Don't forget to keep it in small portion, but often. And drinking lots of water, ma'am, so you don't become dehydrated. However, some pregnant women experience excessive nausea and vomiting. This condition is known as hyperemesis gravidarum. This hyperemesis gravidarum is the condition when you feel excessive nausea and vomiting until you don't have appetite and weight loss. If you experience this excessive nausea and vomiting, you must consult to your objection as soon as possible. Yes, ma'am, of course. Thank you so much for your advice, and I will pay more attention to my symptoms. Yeah, okay, well, next we will do a check on your, on you to see if everything is okay. Please lie down on the bed, Miss Heide. Okay, ma'am. How about my baby and I? Everything is okay? Yes, everything is okay and in good condition. Your baby is healthy and the fetal heartbeat can be heard. Normally, 135 beat in a minute. The baby's growth is also good, according to the gestational age. Wow, sometimes I can feel my baby's movement and it gives me a feeling of happiness. Oh, it's good. You should have to monitor the fetal movement every day too. Okay, mom. Okay, ma'am. I'll... Miss Heide, I suggest you to see an operation for control at least once during the, your pregnancy, especially you are right now in early trimester. Yes. Why that I should go to an obstetrician, ma'am? Because an the obstetrician can perform an ultrasound ex examination to examine the fetus in detail. And you should also check your blood for hemoglobin levels, and this is a reference letter for you to do a gynecal detail examination. Okay, ma'am, I have been feeling nauseous lately. What should I do to reduce nausea? You can reduce nausea by adopting the habit of eating small portion but often like I have said before. Then drinking enough water, don't forget uh, to reduce. You want to be dehydrated. Okay, ma'am. I'll do it. I hope it will better. Have you ever consumed or taken vitamins? Oh, not yet. Okay, then I will give you some vitamins. There are folic acid, calcium, and vitamin C. You need to consume it once a day. Okay, ma'am. When should I have my pregnancy checkup again? Uh, you can check up within a month after seeing the obstetrician, ma'am. Okay, thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Stay safe and stay healthy. Bye. Bye.